The WS57 is a versatile tool that can be used to end strip insulation or remove the outer jacket from 46 to 115 kV XLPE polyethylene and EPR insulated transmission cables with 2.0 to 4.25 inch 50.8 to 108 millimeter cable OD. To remove the outer jacket, loosen the jaw locking screw and slide the WS57 onto the cable. Once the WS57 is on the cable, tighten the screw so the tool fits firmly on the cable, but still allows you to easily rotate the tool. Check the blade depth by rotating the tool clockwise. The blade should be approximately 1 32nd of an inch, 0.8 millimeters, above the insulation shield. The blade hinge assembly can be adjusted to either increase or decrease the width of the jacket material being removed. This is accomplished by loosening the blade angle locking screw and repositioning it in or out as desired. Once the blade is in the proper position, tighten the locking screw to hold it in position. Rotate the tool counterclockwise to begin stripping the jacket. Strip off the desired length of jacket. To stop the stripping process, you may apply a slight backward pressure when rotating the tool or use a QC1 quick clamp as a stop. For cables that exceed the OD for the QC1, the user may use the TC1 transmission cable clamp or several layers of friction tape to stop the forward progression of the WS57. Once the proper length of jacket is removed, loosen the jaw locking screw and remove the WS57 from the cable. The WS57A is specially designed to remove the semicon on the same construction and cable diameter as the WS57, but with an adjustable semicon shaving blade system, making the removal of semicon simple. To use the WS57A, slide the end strip blade completely into the blade slot so it does not interfere with the shaving operation. Once the WS57A is on the cable, adjust the blade depth to remove the semicon to the user's preference. Once the blade depth has been set, rotate the tool clockwise to begin stripping the semicon. To stop the stripping process, you may apply a slight backward pressure when rotating the tool or use a QC1 quick clamp to stop the progress of the tool. For cables that exceed the OD for the QC1, use the TC1 transmission cable clamp or several layers of friction tape as a stop. After the shaving operation, the insulation must be hand worked by additional sanding and scraping to remove residual semicon material and to ensure a smooth and even surface texture. To remove the insulation, the WS57 operates in the same manner as was used to remove the outer jacket. Set up the WS57 as before, adjusting the blade to approximately 1 32nd of an inch, 0.8 millimeters, above the conductor. Rotate the tool counterclockwise, applying a slight forward pressure to engage the blade into the insulation. Continue stripping by applying this forward pressure until the proper length of insulation is removed. 